Hey St. Louis, I'm Angela Sharp and you're watching STL TV. The annual Frizz Fest Festival, which is a festival to encourage self-love and inspire confidence among women, was put on hold last year due to the pandemic. The founder of Frizzy by Nature spoke with the ladies of Let's Talk about an event created by the nonprofit organization since the signature event is on pause right now. Check out this interview. Please welcome founder of Frizzy by Nature, Leslie Hughes. Thanks for joining us, Leslie. Hi, hello. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to have you. The first thing I think of is Naughty by Nature, but it's Frizzy by Nature. Will you tell us more about the name and how your, your not so angelic experience in California uh, yeah. helped you launch the idea? Yeah, so I actually, the name Frizzy, I got the nick nickname Frizzy because of my hair. I used to all through childhood, college, had straight perm hair and after college, um, moved back home, cut my hair, um, start went natural and that's how I got the nickname Frizzy. And it just kind of, I was like, well, I need a new like Instagram name. So Frizzy by nature just came about literally like that. Um, so to take you back to Los An Angeles, I am from St. Louis, Missouri, born and raised. Um, so a couple years after graduating college, I moved to Los Angeles. I was just going through some things, um, relationship issues, was at a job I hated, and I just, I wanted to be free. I was like, this is my time. I want to live my life. I had just cut my, I mean, cut my hair. I was frizzy. You know, I felt like I was finally becoming who I was. And so as soon as I moved to LA, it was um, like a couple months in, my grandmother passed away. Um, exactly a year later, my one of my aunts passed away. And maybe like a year after that, my mom passed away. And six months later, my other aunt passed away. All my aunts, my only living grandmother and my mother. So all this happens while I'm now across the country. Right. I went across the country and so so after that I just decided to move home and you know I was just in a really dark place I had lost myself didn't know who I was who I was supposed to be my mom was my biggest cheerleader everything I did it was for her she was my purpose I'm gonna go to school get a good job to take care of my mom and so after she was gone I didn't have that anymore so mm -hmm. I lost really my purpose and then um, Frizzy by, my organization, Frizzy by Nature, um, came about. And it really um, came about because it was um, January the, it was 2017. I sat in, I moved home with my brother and my sister-in-law. I lived with them for a while. And I had an idea to come up with, um, to get women together and talk about natural hair. And I was like, no, we should do it. Like, let's do it bigger. Let's create a festival. And that's literally how it came. And once I decided I wanted to do that, they had my bag and we hit the ground running and rest is history. Crazy. So it sounded like so many things had crumbled around you, you know, yeah. in St. Louis, you left St. Louis, you go to California and then there's so much loss and hurt and trauma in California. You come back home, you're finding yourself, but you rose from the ashes. I'm going to ask this one question and then open up the, the, the floor, but how did you find yourself in the midst of all of that in order to rise again? You know what? It, I just have a really great support system. Like fam if anybody asks me where I care about the most, it's family. And just having the support of my brother and his wife and my cousin and my dad, like they just... I think they knew I needed something too to kind of like take me out this place and they just literally I said I wanted to do it and they had my back and I think just like creating my my own organization these events it was something to kind of like uplift myself and my mom still has my back um whether she's here physically or not and it was just yeah, it was just my support system. I had that. They uplifted me and I knew too that my mom like her biggest dream was just to see me and my brother happy so I couldn't wallow too long um because I you know I knew I knew what she wanted and I knew what she wanted for me so I had to get going 
but you had to have something for them to support. The vision yeah. came through the cloudiness. That yes, it did. Really yes, amazing. It did. Mm -hmm. Ladies, let's have at it. Jamie, you want to kick it off? I do. I'm totally obsessed with your energy and your personality. I feel like you really just kind of give off that contagious, um, high spirit that I think a lot of us really have been missing with being in person, but we're connecting on social media. And I have to say, like, you're really a gem in that space of, of being genuine. Thank when you. you think about Frizzy and Walk the Walk, you know, a lot of women, um, especially a lot of Black women, we change our hair all the time. And you've turned the word Frizzy where some people had can see it as a, as a negative thing is really being a positive. How has that journey been received um, by larger St. Louis? Because I've been to your events and it really is a melting pot. It, it represents St. Louis, it represents all women. Um, how do, were you able to get that from a word that some people used to see as a negative by saying their hair was frizzy? Yeah, well, I just, like you speaking to when you say, you know, I give off a genuine energy. But at first I was, before my mom passed away, I was always like a really private person. And the thing that like kind of like had people start um, gravitating towards me was my vulnerability in that situation of losing my mom and lacking self-love and not being confident and being insecure. Um so once I opened up, people, I had people messaging me and saying, I really, um, I really feel your story. I've been through the same situation. And um, again, like my mom was always my cheerleader and told me how beautiful I was too. So when she was gone, I didn't have that either. So I was like really lacking a lot of like confidence and self-love. And I, I knew that if I was I know many other women experience those same things. And so once I became natural and not caring as much and just wanted to be more myself, um, that's when I became more freer and more confident. And so I wanted to bring that kind of love and energy to women in St. Louis because they have these other big festivals in bigger cities, but I'm from St. Louis. So I'm always gonna rep St. Louis. I'm like, St. Louis, we need that. We need the positive energy. We need great events, uplifting, inspiring events. So I just really wanted to create a safe space and a safe environment for people to like be who they are, like free and open and out and not worry about who thinks what, but I just wanted to create like just that atmosphere, like be who you are, love who you are, and yeah, and I think that was, that's why it was just um, people gravitated to the event so much, and we grew um, quite a bit, like year after year, like we really like expanded over the years, and I think just because I really word of mouth, the people come out and they have a good time. Yeah. So I can't wait to come to your event, but uh, tell me, what can somebody who's not been to your events, what can they expect when they get there? Oh my gosh, it's so fun. <laughs> it's like it's like a big like family reunion, block party. It's just like um so we normally have a natural beauty festival, so that's called Frizz Fest. Um so there we have it's just like a really inspiring inspiring event. Um we have at Frizz Fest we have all women led business businesses small black owned businesses so it's another way to kind of get that money circulating throughout the community and people who are to get our small businesses to get their products out and get more customers um we have music and live music from local artists artists um we have things for kids face painting pony rides um food like local food vendors and food trucks so it's, it's just like a really community event so it's just they can just expect to have a lot of fun and leave on a high note with high energy and happy um just hearing you tell us about it is <laughs> it's almost melancholy it's taken me back to those times and we can't wait to see what happens post COVID and as you go forward. And Leslie, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to speak with us about Frizzy by Nature and all that's happening and yet to come. 
If you'd like to know more information about Frizzy by Nature, visit frizzybynature.com. And for all things St. Louis, visit stltv.net. And always tune in to let us know what you would like to talk about. Take care.